lapping valves in is actually uh, quite an easy operation when you know how. You need a tool like this, obviously cylinder head with valves, and um, two sorts of paste. You have coarse paste and fine paste, fine grain paste. The idea of lapping your valves back in or grinding valves in is to um, get a gas tight seal for compression. Okay, as you can see with this left hand port it's pitted and uh, well it's quite carbony. This is exhaust as you can see here written here. Okay, compared to this one here which is the uh, inlet. I've already lapped that in so you can see that's actually nice and clean. But here, you've got to get rid of the pin Okay, otherwise you'll lose compression, the gas will come through there. Okay, so I'll show you how to do it, it's really simple. It's laborious, but it's simple. Okay, we're going to start with using coarse grade on the valve. I have to apply some to the edge of the valve here. Okay, in such a manner. It helps to have a little bit of oil on here as well, just when you're working on it. Okay, coarse grade initially. Um, that will cut in a lot quicker. You'll find yourself if you've got pitting and you're going to use your fine grade, you're going to a lot more work to be had. So, what we're doing here, as you can see what I've done, okay, I'm lifting it up every now and then to redistribute the cutting paste, okay, and it helps to turn it 180 and then cut again. Okay, now, valves actually do turn all the time in the cylinder head when the engine's running and that helps to clean the carbon off. Of course after a while it's going to trap little bits of carbon on the valve and the heat causes pitting anyway. So, there we go as you can see. It'll take this a little bit of time to do this. Whip this out and I'll wipe it. And we'll have a look. What we're looking for is a complete grey band all the way around the valve, as you can see there, and on the valve seat itself, without any evidence of little black marks, which would be the pitting. Okay, that's okay. So I'm cheating a bit here. This is the inlet valve. The exhaust valve will take a little bit more work. So with your fine paste. It's the same operation again. This might take a little bit longer. You can almost polish it. Um, you, I've heard of people using tea cut, but to be honest with you, that is it really necessary? We're just looking for a gas tight seal. All right, but yeah, the same operation again. In there, okay. This might take a little bit more time. You're not looking for any scoring at all whatsoever on the valve seat or on the edge of the valve. Right. As you can see what I'll do is turn it 180 degrees and start again. Pushing down helps. Okay. Now I actually do this. Okay. Let it go right the way down. Whoops. Fell off. Okay. And then lift it up again. Push it right the way down. And then up. That way, you're getting pressure. Right. So where are we going? And turn it 180 degrees and do it again. It'll take a little bit of time to do this, of course. And as you have eight valves, you have eight operations. I usually do all the ones first with course. When I'm satisfied do them with fine paste. Right, so pulling this out here, what you'll be looking at now is quite a nice grey line. See that? That's what you need. That should be gas tight now. So, I'll let you get on with it.